Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. I'm Brian, you know that by now anyway. Today I'm going to be doing another SH Figure Arts review. And the latest one I've got, he's known as Hercule in Japan. And over here, he's known as Mr. Satan. So today's review is the SH Figure Arts Mr. Satan figure. Um, yeah, this guy is awesome. He's such a coward, and such a shitty arse, and such a liar as well. But he's a fun character, and it's one I was, I wouldn't have bought if I hadn't got it for such a good price, because you know he's not he's good, he's a good character, but he's not like, he's not super important if if you get me. I know he won the tournament and what have you, that time because of the whole my Jim Boo stuff, but he's not like a massively important character to me anyway. But I'm glad I got him anyway. I'm more impressed than what I thought it would be. So let's take a look at the box and we'll start this review. So let's take a look at the box for Mr. Satan. As you can see, there's a cool picture of him at the front looking really mean. You can see him here with all these extra faces and stuff. And usual stuff. You've got the certificate, the authentic sticker, authenticity. Bandai, Tomashi Nations, Dragon Ball Z. Made in 2019, so only last year this guy came out, and he's already quite expensive. Mr. Satan on the back. Super action. Dynamic articulation enables recreation of Mr. Satan's iconic action sequences from the anime. Almost there. <laughs> Majin Buu, SH figure out sold separately, as is Agent or Android 18. Master scrap master master crafted sculpt accurately depicts Mr. Satan in meticulous detail and as you can see looking quite heroic there simple style and heroic action you've got all the warnings there in different languages and all the japanese stuff here too as well and on the side you've got the pictures of him i love that that's really cool and you've got him looking angry there or angry as hell there and the dog there too and the title belt for winning the tournament so guys let's get him out so here we have mr satan out of the box and as you can see, he comes with an absolute massive array of accessories. So let's start with those. He comes with one championship belt here on him already. That says champion and has a little bat thing on it. And it comes with a second belt as well, which has more like an eagle. And that is cool as well. And he also comes with a regular belt just to stick around him too. And they all like disconnect here, I think. So he also comes with the dog, which is actually got an articulated head, which is kind of cool. It looks all the way around in circles, nice bit of rotation. So he comes with three different face sculpts, one head. There's this angry head, angry face. He comes with this totally shocked face, which is mentally funny. And he comes with a stern, I'm the champion face. And he comes with all these different fing fingers, different hands and stuff. Karate hands. And yeah, thumbs up and peace, peace signs everywhere. So yeah, that's Mr. Satan. He comes with um, a cape. Which you can remove once you take off the head. There's also this little cat, this little cover. I don't know if you can even see it, it's tiny. For when you take off the cape that you can stick in his back. So he doesn't look kind of naked without it. The belts do come off as well as far as I'm aware. So what I'm going to do to make this review a bit easier on my own. On myself is to take that head off for a sec. So now that I have the cape off, I'm just going to show you it where it plugs in. There's a plug here at the back and that plugs into this. And now with the cape gone, just so it won't look messy, you get this little uh, plug hole to go into it. Which is a nice idea, they could have completely ignored that. But well done to them for starting it. So while the head is off, let's have a look at the other expressions 
for Mr. Satan. It's kind of a different looking uh, setup than usual. So there's that one, which looks funny as, as all hell. And then there's that one. And finally, the angry head. So what I'm going to do for the laugh is just leave the funny one on because I think it's hilarious. And let's pop his head back on. Now, so for articulation, you get a great range of movement. Looks up, looks down, left and right, all around in circles. Shoulders, they go up and down here. There's a bit of a, there's a butterfly joint inside there as well. It goes all the way around. You get bicep swivel, you get double jointed elbows, which is quite restricted because of the way the, the material is. Wrists, you get good movement on those as well, up and down and around. You have chest articulation here. And waist articulation too. Now as far as I know, you can take these belts off. But I'm not going to pull it. <laughs> Legs can go up here. Can go out. They're very restricted by this, but it's not a hard plastic. It's kind of soft, pliable plastic. So you can pull it up. He does have a tie swivel there as well. And double jointed knees, which again is sort of screwed over by this... Uh, Material, you get ankle rotation and up and down movement and toe articulation. So yeah, you get a lot with this guy. He's really, really cool. And height wise, I can't take him seriously with that stupid face on him. <laughs> so maybe I won't leave that face on him. Height wise, we're looking at just between, just about five and a half inches. So again, let's use our uh, our mascot, Goku, just to heighten him up. So Goku's hair makes him taller. <laughs> so yeah, this is when Goku takes his uh, his heart. But uh, yeah, you can get. I imagine you can get some really funny poses with this guy, which I'm gonna try and do in a while. And yeah, guys, so let me know what you think of the review. And are you going to be buying Mr. Satan or attempting to buy him soon? Or are you going to wait for another release? Which can which can usually prove fatal to Dragon Ball collectors. Because things go so far up in value once they're released. And you can be waiting ages for another one. I'm looking at you, Krillin. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the review. And please drop a subscribe, drop a comment, drop a like. Do all those nice things to help me out. Because you're diamonds and... Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. So, sorry, guys. I just said I'd uh, update you there. I figured out how the belts come off. So, it's literally a case of popping off the torso, which comes off really easy. Changing it around. And popping it back on. So, I didn't want to leave the review incomplete. But that's how you do it, more or less. So, yeah, guys. Don't forget to drop subscribe. See you later. Bye.